One of the questions that you guys ask a lot is, how do I help my friends when I'm with them? How do I help them and give them hope and promise when they're struggling with the worst breakup ever? How do I help them when they're wondering about identity? How do I help them when they're feeling overloaded by the world and pressured and full of anxiety? That's a really great question. And the reason that you ask is because you have hope. And that hope is something that we can offer to those who are struggling around us. We know the greatest gift that God has given to his church is forgiveness of sins through Christ alone. We're just coming off of Easter and celebrating the great resurrection of Jesus. Christ is risen. Your sins are forgiven. You have hope. And your Savior promises to be with you each and every day, no matter what's going on in your world. Another of the great gifts that our Lord has given to us is you. It's the body of believers as we gather together in the church. Not only do we receive this good gift of Christ risen from the dead in our forgiveness, but we also now can take that into the world. We take it to our friends when we're with them. We give them the same hope that we had. You see, it, their hope and their forgiveness is not up to you. Our position in the church is we receive the gifts and we act like Philip with Nathaniel. Jesus has just started his ministry. He's gathering disciples. Philip says to Nathaniel, we found the one that Moses talked about, that the prophets talked about. We found the hope. And Philip says that he came from Nazareth. And Nathaniel's answer is, well, what good can come out of Nazareth? And Philip's answer was so great. Come and see. Come and see. That's all he said. And he brought Nathaniel to Jesus. And he let Jesus do the work. You see, dear saints, God has given us a great gift by giving us salvation. And he's given us a great task of being able to bring others to sit in front of him. You know it from the catechism. The Holy Spirit calls, gathers, enlightens, sanctifies. You see, it's not our job to give hope. It's our job just to bring them where that hope is, and that's Jesus. That's the forgiveness of sins. That's the promise that Jesus gives us in our identity. No matter how bad the world beats us up, no matter how bad we feel, we come to Jesus, and he gives us peace. He forgives our sins. He promises, I will be with you always. He promises, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. He not only promises, but he shows us how much he loves us when he gives his life for us, forgives us, and then rises from the dead for us as well. My friends, that's hope. And you know that hope. And when somebody wants that hope, our answer should be very similar to Philip. Come and see. Come with me. Let's find Jesus where he is, in his gifts, in his word, and in his sacrament. And that's all for you. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.